Welcome to another rooftop review here in Panama City, Panama. I'm Tom, the founder of BTECT, and in this video, we are going to talk about shooting raw, why I think you should do it, what kind of results you can expect to get, and specifically, why we should be doing it on the Xperia 1 Mark II. It isn't just because it's my phone of the year so far, which it is, it's because this phone does it so incredibly well. We're gonna show you some beautiful pictures we've taken with this phone in RAW and in JPEG, but without any further ado, let's kick off by talking about why we should be shooting in RAW in the first place. Okay, so most phones we know are all about shooting in auto mode. The phone does the work, not you. You get quick, easy results, but those results are JPEG files for the most part and they are very compressed. They're absolutely fine for you know, social media use, quick, easy you know, photos you can share, absolutely no problem at all. But if you really, really want very, very specific and beautiful images, shooting in RAW is where it's at. What you're going to get is a much wider spectrum of colours and way, way more opportunity when it comes to editing your pictures uh, in post. Now here are some examples of um, some pretty amazing photographs actually taken by Andres, who's filming me right now. We're gonna show you an example in RAW, and then we're gonna move it to JPEG, and then we're gonna give you here a combination of the two. Now this first picture, I think you'll agree, I mean, they're all beautiful actually, is stunning but you can see the clarity and the detail in the raw image is much much greater mm. now thanks to your amazing suggestions we've learned an awful lot over the last few videos and one of the uh, most common suggestions is putting the actual um, files in the video description below so all of these images that you're seeing now are available in the links in the description below so if you want to open them up without any YouTube compression you can do that we're moving through the pictures now just to give you more and more context about just how impressive the raw photographs are. But what we're gonna do next is we're gonna show you something that really will bring home just how much control you have in, in uh, post. But before we move on to that stage, I just want to remind you of one thing, and that is that, yes, it's true, the majority of phones don't enable you to shoot raw, but the ones that do, there's a difference between the Sony approach and other approaches. For example, and this is really important I think, all three lenses here on the Xperia 1 Mark II and enable you to shoot RAW, all three of them. Now that's incredibly rare. Even for example, I know there are iPhone fans out there, even the iPhone 11 Pro, it's only two of the lenses. I think the, the main and the telephoto, if I remember correctly. Um, so yes, there is a difference between the Sony approach, which is the real deal, and a lot of other approaches. So now that's out of the way, let's show you something that I think will surprise you in terms of the control that we have when it comes to editing in post. So take this shot here of our brand new studio in Panama City and you'll notice straight away this is a very, very difficult shot to manage. And this is a classic uh, example of when it would be great to use RAW because if this is a standard JPEG file, we would have absolutely no chance reining it in, but it isn't, it's a raw file. So let's rein in the overexposed areas. Again, we wouldn't be able to do this if it was a JPEG file, that's the crucial difference. So Andres here in um, Adobe, what's it you're using here, Andres? Lightroom. Lightroom. Yeah, Adobe Lightroom. Andres is reining that in beautifully and managing it. The highlights, everything can be perfectly managed. The other thing, of course, is that these darker areas, there's a lot of detail that we're missing here. Again, with these adjustments that Andres is making, we're getting the full balanced picture that we wanted all along. So hopefully this example explains the level of control that you have is, well, it's next level, isn't it? It really is impressive. So if you're subscribed to BTECT, you know that we are mainly focused on the best devices for you 
If you're interested in, well, having the best daily driver imaginable for your needs, and also if you take a real interest in photography and videography. So naturally the Xperia 1 Mark II is a great phone for us to cover. That's why I think we have in total 10 videos planned for this phone. I think this is number, what, Andrew, is seven or eight? I can't remember. Eight. But, oh, thank you, eight. So. Um, we have more coming up on this phone. We absolutely love this phone, but I do want to provide a bit of context here. We're talking about raw photography with this phone because it's an important uh, aspect of what this phone can do that other phones just cannot do. I feel very strongly about this, partly because so many YouTube channels, tech channels, uh, tech journalists even, they to my mind at least, have not fully understood what the Xperia 1 Mark II is about. They've made comparisons with phones like the S20 Ultra or the Pixel, uh, and the Xperia 1 Mark II has not come off favorably. And I think it's right to compare the Xperia 1 Mark II with these other phones, but only if you provide the context, and that's what's been missing. I'll say it again because it's really important. This phone, is for people who want the best possible results, the most control over their pictures, and they want to enjoy the process, the art of taking the best possible photographs, the best video. Um, it's a process that if you don't enjoy it, you won't enjoy the phone in that sense. But if you do enjoy it, very few phones will give you this kind of experience. It really is a huge amount of fun. It isn't, contrary to maybe what some uh, YouTubers have said, a phone only for professionals. Sure, it's a phone for professionals, but it's also a phone for people like me who enjoy photography and want to improve. I think if you're one of those people, you'll love this phone. It's also a phone for people who enjoy the exclusivity and the sort of, you know, it's an unusual phone. You're not gonna see one every day out and about. It's not like an iPhone in that sense. And I think if you enjoy that, you will like this phone even more. So I wanted to provide that context because yes, shooting raw is important. These are the results you can expect. This is why you should do it. In terms of how, it's the easiest thing in the world. You just go up to mode here, file format, and you can choose RAW or RAW and JPEG. So, I mean, it's, it's nice and easy to get into, but it's a huge amount of fun, especially when it comes to editing and post. So, I hope you found this useful. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed because we have a beautiful short film coming up entirely shot on the Xperia 1 Mark II and some incredible versus videos will be up on the roof and then once that's done we have more road trip reviews planned so thank you ever so much for watching I'll see you next time